Hey everybody, it's Rob here from Intrigue. It's uh, day 13 of 100 tips in 100 days. And so today's tip is all around the power of clarity and how important it can be, especially these days when people are working from home so much, uh, to make sure that people have a very clear idea of how they can win their week. So this is all around, again, putting teeth into our purpose at Intrigue, which is empowering leaders to strengthen communities. Um, and so that we can, you know, share some tips with you that we've learned along the way. You know, we don't have it all perfect yet, but we're growing really well. And um, I figured I'd do the 100 tips in 100 days to, well, to get outside my comfort zone, but just to just kind of give it away. And then uh, hopefully you can use some of this stuff and, and maybe become, you know, grow a little bit faster or a little bit of a better leader or any kind of nugget that you can take. Uh, I hope it works out. So here's the one on clarity. Um, the question to ask is, does everybody know uh, clearly and objectively from like a data perspective what it's going to take for them to win their week so that on Friday when they close down their computer or leave the office or whatever it is that they're doing, they know that they can hold their chin up high that they've done a great job this week. So is, is it empirical? Like, can someone else see if someone's won their week? You know, our sales team uh, has quota. That's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Sales is usually the, the easiest uh, role in an organization to measure with clarity. Um, you know, our operations team has production, so there's they got to get their work done, but they're also it's also balanced with client satisfaction, so you can't just do really fast work that isn't done well. You also have to get it. Uh, it's got to be quality work. Um, you know, in, in administration, speed can be a lot of things that can be done. So like um, time from an agreement being signed to an invoice being sent out, uh, day sales outstanding on accounts receivable, all this kind of stuff. And then turning that into like a weekly cadence, like what is it that you need to get done this week? What do you need to get done today to start off your week right? And when everybody has clarity, now they know how to win the game. And then it becomes really easy to say, I did a good job this week and shut off. Instead of maybe I'm working at home now, not used to it. I'm kind of working like 12, 14 hour days, even though I'm not really working the entire time. Um, but it's just, it, I don't know if I'm done and there's always more work to do. You'll never, you'll never get rid of the mountain, um, of the to-do list or whatever's coming up around the corner. Cause once you've done something, there's something else. So having a lot of clarity, having, giving people crystal clear clarity on how they can win their week is super powerful because then they get to win and they know they won. They get to feel good and they get to turn off. Anyway, I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, bring on the questions. I need to get as many as I can. If I can't answer it, I'll find someone who can. I got a hundred tips to do this to do. So I need uh, any help from you guys would be really, really helpful. So thank you. Bye.